bottom of the 10th inning. Mike Napoli batting. How you doing, partner? I am doing just great. My fingers and all that aren't doing all that well. <laughs> Three outs. Right-hander to right-hander. The pitch on the way to Napoli. Strike one call. Edwards, tall and slender, has a great arm. He gets the target into his motion and the 0-1. Napoli takes upstairs. An RBI double by Ben Zobrist in the top of the 10th broke the tie. A run scoring single by Miguel Montero provided insurance. Here's the 1-1. Napoli hits a foul off to the right out of play. One and two. What are you thinking here, Ron? Well, I like that last pitch Edwards threw to Napoli. To me, if Carl can just stay out or third against these guys with that good 96-mile-an-hour fastball, little cut, don't need to get too far away from that pitch. Now the one-two on the way. Upstairs, ball two. Still warm, 72 degrees. Unbelievably nice for November 2nd. And now the 2-2 pitch on the way. Napoli strikes out swinging. That's out number one. The Cubs are two outs away. Great pitch from Edwards. That's that fastball angled down, cutting away from Napoli. Swung right through it. Never had a chance. One down. Here is Jose Ramirez. The Cubs had a three-run lead in the eighth inning and could not hang on to it. Edwards gets the first man out with a two-run lead in the bottom of the tenth. Ramirez two for four. First pitch strike, 0-1. That's the same way he started in Napoli. Boy, it's outstanding. A young rookie pitcher coming in, throwing bullets and throwing strikes here in a tenth in Game 7 of the World Series. The 0-1. Line drive down the right field line, foul. And now it's 0-2. He may have broken his bat. No, I guess he didn't. Pretty good breaking ball from Edwards. Had... Ramirez out in front. Everybody in the park is on their feet. And I think all of our listeners are on their feet, no matter where they are as well. The 0-2. Curveball is outside for a ball. What a game this has been. A complete game. Mm. The one-two. Just outside, it's two and two. A little bit of everything. Boy, isn't that the truth? Power. Some good pitching. Some base running. Yeah. Clutch hits. Some defensive mistakes. Just heads had it all. One down, bottom of the tenth. Cubs lead 8-6. Ramirez backs away. Brandon Geyer is on deck. Here comes the 2-2. Bouncing ball to short. Fielded by Russell. Throws to Rizzo. Two down. The Cubs are one out away. Nice play by Addy. He comes in. It's an excellent breaking ball by Edwards. Ramirez out in front. Just rolls a ground ball. Addison feels this ball. Perfect strike to Anthony Rizzo for the second out here in the 10th. The Cubs are one out away from winning the title. And Cub fans, you are going to remember where you were right now for the rest of your life. The pitch on the way to Geyer is down low for ball one. Carl Edwards has mixed in good fastballs and some good breaking balls here in the 10th. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. And Geyer takes down low for a ball. 
And if you feel like your heart is pounding a little bit right now, you're not alone. Bryant even with the bag at third. Two outs, nobody on. The 2-0 pitch on the way to Geyer. Low for ball three, 3-0. Three you certainly don't want to walk a man in this spot. On deck is the guy that tied the game with a home run in the eighth inning, Rajay Davis. Montero goes out to the mound to talk to Carl Edwards Jr. Settle him down. Let's talk to him about just aiming for the middle of the plate. And let's throw a few strikes and make them swing the bat to get on base. Cubs on the threshold of the greatest victory in the history of the franchise. The 3-0 is taken for a strike. I gotta believe this has got to be a take also. Here comes the 3-1. Geyer takes ball four. So the Indians will get the tying run to the plate. And it is Rajay Davis. And that will bring out Chris Bazio to the mound. Ooh. Cubs lead eight to six. Bottom of the tenth inning. All of the Cubs now gathered around Bazio on the mound. I'm going to guess this conversation is about the last at-bat from Davis. The pitch that he handled was down and in. He just dropped the head of the bat on it and hit the home run off of Rolls Chapman down the line. Now what you do is you pitch away the best you can, try to throw strikes away, take your chances from there. Right-hander against right-hander. Nobody has gone home. 38,000 looking on. Two outs. The pitch to Davis. The runner goes. The pitch down low. Ball four. No stolen base for Geyer. Defensive indifference. Comes the 1 0 to Davis. And he'll hit a line drive, base hit to center, rounding third, and coming in to score is Dyer. And now it's an 8 to 7 ball game. Boy, pretty good swing by Davis. He gets his ball down and away and just shoots it back through the middle for a base knock, and that will bring out Joe Madden. Michael Martinez due to bat. And let's see if Joe is going to make a change. He will. He's going to bring in a left-hander. The Indians, a 68-year drought since their last title, the longest such drought in the American League, and the Cubs, well, you know, it's been 108 years since their last title. Two down. Cubs lead by a run. Tying run at first. Martinez at the plate. Bryant guards the line at third. Here we go. Montgomery's pitch. Her ball strike. 0-1. Outfielder City Cubs playing no double zone. Extremely deep in left. Fowler deep in center. Hayward not quite as deep in right. A little bouncer slowly toward Bryant. He will glove it and throw to Rizzo. It's in time. And the Chicago Cubs win the World Series. The Cubs come pouring out of the dugout. Jumping up and down like a bunch of delirious 10-year-olds. The Cubs have done it. The longest drought in the history of American sports is over. And the celebration begins. It's 
never felt better to fly the W. Congratulations, 2016 world champions from a proud partner of the Chicago Cubs, State Farm. Great scene on the field, bear hugs, absolute joy. The Cubs have done it, their first world title since 1908, and fittingly, Ron, it was a ground ball to Chris Bryant, who threw the ball to Anthony Rizzo, two guys who will be battling for the most valuable player award here in a few weeks. Kind of a fitting conclusion to the ball game. It really is. What what a ball game. What a, what a tenth inning. And to me, the wait is over. Right? It is over to Cubs, a World Series champions. How does that sound, partner? Well, it's a, it's a long oh. time coming, but it sounds wonderful. Anthony Rizzo hugging all of his teammates. Many media members are out there. Len Casper is on the field. Absolute jubilation for the Chicago Cubs. And Ronnie, I'm thinking about all the unbelievable fans the Cubs have. The ones that are both with us still and the ones that are no longer with us. Very emotional moment. The Cubs have done it.